Hi, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on uh, where you are in the world. It's morning here in the U.S., and uh, this is Jim Hirecheck. I'd like to welcome you to the webinar today, Tips to Improve the Pattern Searches. Uh, it's an exciting webinar. I think it's a very uh, good pattern to talk about, given uh, today's market conditions. We have uh, a room packed to capacity right now, and I'd like you to stick around for the entire presentation as uh, I'm excited to be here, and I hope you are too. Today, uh, we're going to start out with a disclaimer, and that's uh, the auto charter service includes chart pattern identification in respect to foreign currencies, commodities, equities, and stocks. There are potential risks relating to investing and trading. You must be aware of such risks and familiarize yourself in regard to such risks and to seek independent advice relating thereto. You should not trade with money that you cannot afford to lose. The auto charted service and its content should not be construed as a solicitation to invest and or trade. You should seek independent advice in this regard. Past performance is not indicative of future performance. No representation is being made that any results discussed within the service and its related media content will be achieved. All opinions, news, research, analysis, prices, and other information is provided as general market commentary and not as investment advice. Auto Chartist, MDIO software, their members, shareholders, employees, agents, representatives, and resellers do not warrant the completeness, accuracy, or timeliness of the information supplied, and they shall not be liable for any loss or damages, consequential or otherwise, which may arise from the use or reliance of the auto chartist service and its content. Okay, that being said, we'll move on to the table of contents, and today we're basically going to talk about uh, patterns, uh, the channel down pattern, and the family of patterns that belong to this uh, channel family. I'm sure you've seen channels uh, written about in books and seen on various websites, but we're going to uh, so we're going to uh, highlight some of the key features of the channel. And like I said, it's uh, cousins, uh, double tops, double bottoms, rectangles, uh, things like that. We'll even talk about the falling and rising wedge, and uh, we're going to use uh, these patterns in conjunction with the quality indicators that Auto Chartist provide so that uh, we can filter these channels to find the types of patterns that you're comfortable with. Uh, a lot of trading has to do with uh, personal preference. If you've attended some of, of my webinars, you know that I talk a lot about that, uh, uh, this fact that there is personal preference involved in trading and that often a trader, uh, when he trades patterns, trades the pattern that he believes looks like the pattern should look like. In other words, if he's looking for triangle patterns, he definitely wants to see a clear triangle. When he's working with channels, he wants to work with a channel that looks like uh, a channel that he has in his mind. So there is a little bit of art involved in uh, using patterns to trade, and hopefully I'll be able to accomplish the task of showing you how to use these auto chartist filters to make the uh, search of these uh, patterns easier and much clearer for you. Okay, as we move on here, we see that uh, the basic definition of a channel, you can see from the small graph, and later on today I will be going live, or throughout the session I'll be going live to show you uh, markets that are taking place right now. We have live data, there's an active Forex market, and sometimes near the end we'll have an active uh, stock index uh, futures market and possibly some stocks from the US markets. So right now the basic definition we want to uh, look at for a channel is it's a trading range between two diagonal parallel lines. Now parallel lines is the key. You can see from this small example here of this channel that uh, the, the channel get, it gets its appearance from the fact that the support line that underneath extends out into the future and the resistance line extends out in the future and the lines never touch each other and hence the the name parallel lines of course uh, you can contrast this against a triangle which uh, has two lines but they eventually do merge at the end to form an apex so when you're looking at a channel you can have a, 
a downtrend, for example, in this channel down, and uh, you can also have an uptrend. And but the key fe feature is that you have a trade action that takes place between two parallel lines, and you have a various swings. So you can have tops and bottoms in there. You can have three or four tops and bottoms. You can have several, and the channel can last anywhere from a few days to a few weeks or even years for some longer term markets. And the thing that you want to do when you look at the channel is you have two ways to trade a channel and AutoTrader sets that up is either an emerging pattern where you can uh, trade support and resistance. So you want to sell resistance by support and stay with that particular trading strategy until the market moves out of the parallel lines and becomes a completed pattern. So when you look at auto charters from a completed standpoint, uh, then you're looking for uh, breakout patterns. So if I move to uh, the live action that's taking place in the market, you can see that uh, if I do go to uh, a channel down pattern in this, uh, so if you get a good activity in this particular market, this is the British pound and the uh, Hong Kong dollar, you can see that this is a channel down pattern. Okay, the lines are not quite as parallel as uh, usual. Sometimes it's uh, perfect equidistance between the support and resistance line. But this is an example of what a channel down pattern looks like on a 30-minute chart. You can see that this move here, this strong move up here, is this represents the initial trend, and, and that's a rated a maximum 10 bars. Okay, that's important when we come down to this area where we get a breakout because oftentimes the breakout pattern is equal or greater than an initial trend pattern. So if you have a strong initial trend pattern at the start of a channel, then oftentimes you'll get a strong breakout. This is a below average breakout. Volatility wasn't that strong here. But if momentum does pick up, this is the potential area that auto charters has identified. So what you want to look at in this pattern is you want to pay attention to the initial trend that started the channel and you want to pay attention to how many touches or how many how close the support or resistance came uh, without breaking uh, the support and resistance line. So you want to you want to look for uh, a market that is or a support line that is well tested and you want to look for resistance that is well tested and that tells you how strong those lines are uh, so that when the market does eventually break out above those points uh, you get uh, an even stronger push uh, because traders recognize that there's a, a serious uh, shift in sentiment taking place so so again to recap watch the initial trend at the beginning and make sure that you have a solid uh, 7 to 10 bar initial trend breakout on the channel and also you want to look at the breakout to see if you can get a high enough number to trigger a breakout into the target zone and in between clarity and uniformity these represent the aesthetics of what the pattern looks like inside and uh, they help you determine the strength of support and resistance another thing that's important for a channel is this length indicator now, typically, when you're working with patterns, it really doesn't matter what, uh, what, what type of pattern it is. It could be a moving average pattern. It could be uh, Elliott Wave. It could be uh, anything, GAN patterns. That the, uh, the general rule is that the shorter the time period, the more volatility or the more noisy the market's going to be. So if you set up, uh, if we had a pattern on a 15-minute chart, for example, let me close this out here a second. If we had a pattern on a 15-minute chart, this is New Zealand dollar, you're going to see that you want to have a long period of time inside the pattern. So here's a 15-minute on a hundred in a 113-bar length. So that's important that you have a good look at this particular pattern, and you see these solid. Uh, these relationships between this bottom and this bottom and this bo uh, top and this top. That helps give you a high clarity rating. So if you're going to use a short-term time period starting with the 15, then you want to have a long 
uh, or a high number in the length. And then as you move up uh, to 30 minute, 60 minute, 240 minute chart patterns, you can uh, have a shorter length. But the key is that if you have a 15 minute and you have a short period of time, chances are you're going to get choppy markets. So I always try to remember that that type of relationship and when we go uh, later on in the webinar we'll show you how to set up these searches so that you can pinpoint the patterns that look um, are more clear and like this okay uh, we also uh, want to talk now about I'll go back to our slides and we're going to talk about our next pattern and that's the channel up and this one here covers the parallel lines uh, uh, pointing upward okay so it's the opposite of the channel down the other thing I want to point out is that this information that I'm reading here is available on the auto Chartist program so that when you are reaching uh, when you do hit this section of the search and you want to uh, you're not sure what the pattern represents, you can hit these little I buttons here and this box will pop up. And in this case, the channel up pattern popped up. And you can see that the characteristics, again, the parallel lines, you're going to see support and resistance form, and you have the choice to trade it either as a completed pattern breakout or as a, an emerging pattern and trade the swings, the support and resistance swings. So that's, that's important there. Okay, now I just want to ask you a question at this time. And the question is, what are the key characteristics of most channel patterns? All right, looks like uh, we have uh, pretty good participation in the uh, question, and we're looking at uh, a passing rate for the class. Uh, parallel lines is the key characteristic. Uh, although I know some people call support and resistance bands, or support and resistance bands can be parallel sometimes. The exact answer is the parallel lines. That's the key. Again, the reason why you want to look, you want to see these parallel lines is because you're going to get patterns, uh, like I said, uh, such as triangles, which uh, do not rely on the parallel line. What they do is they rely on compression of support and resistance, and so they're more, uh, they're set up more for sideways markets and uh, that point towards breakouts. Where a channel, you uh, people that trade channels or prefer to trade channels tend to prefer markets that stay in a particular trend for a long time. And uh, their theory is that a market inside of a channel or inside the parallel lines is going to stay inside there until acted upon by a, another force, uh, such as trading volume or volatility, where, pe where traders that prefer to trade triangles realize that the market's going to compress and that ranges are going to be slow and sideways and tight, and they're waiting for a, uh, the ranges to narrow so much that a breakout is almost impending. So again, that's where personal preference comes into play, is that again, one is looking for a trend to continue inside the lines, whereas the other one is waiting to predict a breakout. Okay, another pattern that I, I call a uh, a channel is the rectangle because instead of having the support and resistance lines on a diagonal you actually have them uh, horizontal and same principle applies here that as long as the market stays between the support and resistance lines it's in a it's basically in a sideways channel and you have uh, easily identifiable support and resistance areas that can be exploited by a swing trader so if you have a good solid channel and it follows the characteristics of a rectangle, you can buy support and sell resistance until in, into infinity until the market breaks out and becomes a completed pattern. 
So although uh